Good evening, good evening everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great summer. Uh, we have been um, overwhelmed to say the least. Uh, hopefully this video isn't too shaky. I can't find my little uh, handheld deal. We just moved and so as you can see here's the garage. Give you guys just a quick tour. But uh, you can see it's it's quite full and so trying to find everything is just uh just not working the cool thing is is that we're able to get all the vehicles you got snowflake you got earl and then you got mama's car uh luckily we're able to get all of them in the driveway uh 59 isn't here uh it's still at my buddy's house they're storing it for us until we can make some room uh to get it over here but that's not why you guys are here um we got in this and i know there's probably a ton of videos about this online um this is what we're looking at hopefully that is coming in but anyways it is the seat release um for these trucks so you get um a couple of different options as far as colors and things like that i just went standard black i've got gray interior um it just seems like it'll maybe match up a little bit so let's uh let's see if we can get this installed this evening while dinner is being prepared my only concern is that apparently you have to get your hands back here somehow i don't even know if you can see um hopefully you can get your hands back there but um when you have um paws is what people call them they don't call them hands they call them paws uh because i guess they're big uh i may have to get uh my little helper out here and see if she can squeeze her hand back there and uh see if we can drop the seat so uh i'll be right back let me go grab her all right so hopefully you guys can see me i had to i put a little a little ring light um in uh in hopes to maybe capture some of this because it is starting to get dark i don't know why i waited till so late in the day but um anyways my little helper was just here and she ran inside so yeah, i don't know let me see if i can get to it oh, oh. all right so Okay, so apparently what you're going to do, set this here like this. Hey, that kind of works, doesn't it? All right, so apparently what you do is you lift the seat up like this, and it gives you enough room to stick your hand back here and try to feel for this thing back here. I mean, I feel the... I feel the, the bracket and the hardware back there, but I just can't get my... my big dumb hands to work, and of course I can't stick my head back there and see what I'm doing. All right, let me... Let me see if I can get a light back there and see. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I got a light. See if you guys... Whoa, almost dropped my phone. All right. You guys can see this bracket here. And... Ah! Smashing my smashing my fingers 
All right, be right back. Okay, so I guess it helps if you read the directions. Um, there's no picture, so I don't know how to do this. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but anyways, it tells you to go grab a box end wrench. Can you go grab me a box end wrench? Um, I would imagine probably of, of any size. Um, no haters, cowboys, it is what it is. Uh, my middle one is a is an Eagles fan. Um, it's okay, I, I think it was probably because he was dropped on his head um, when he was younger, so. Um, Anyways, it is what it is. Um, so it says grab a, a box end wrench and we're gonna grab it around this loop and pull it up and then we'll uh, remove these torque screws. Just any of them. Probably like the half inch or something like that. Would probably work. Come on, dude. There's people waiting, hello. He's probably trying to figure out what a box end wrench is. Probably because it's not in the shape of a square or a box. Because I can hear him digging through all of these. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? You know what a box end wrench is? <laughs> it's the one with the the round deal on it. Just just any size. Yep, that'll work. Bring it. Perfect. Flashlight on the uh, on the old phone. I'm sure we'll make it work. Oh, um, we're all laughing at you, by the way. All all of us here. It was uh, he found it. It was right next to the left-handed screwdrivers. <laughs> And locate the pin. Pull up. Man, it was just just that simple. Drop it down. So, what you're doing? Oh. All right. So what you do is you grab your your wrench, your box end, and what you do is this little pin right here. You hook it around like this. Hopefully you can see it. Nope, you can't see it. Let me switch hands. So again, there's this pin, put it here and you pull. And that's enough to just release it from this pin here. So what we're gonna do is it also says that we got some Torx bits that have to do. Oh look, there's a subwoofer right there, boom, boom. So we gotta grab um, a T30. We got two T30 torch screws, which one here, one here. Let me go grab that and a drill and I'll be right back. Here we are, your uh, good old standard T30 torx. I'm gonna do this by hand here. Let me see if I can set you guys up so you can see doing the work. Working those four. No, I'm just kidding. What? Hey, what's wrong? Nothing. Are you embarrassed? No. Not. It's just a normal thing now. <laughs> oh, normal thing. Undo that one. Undo this one. Hopefully. We may have to get a pair of pliers on this one. Hold on. All right, all right. back in action. Torx and a wrench, and these two actually will go together. Um, probably works better if you have the 24 millimeter instead of a 23 and trying to squeeze it on, but it does the job. Well, why are you looking at me so weird? Like, you think I'd dumb or something no. he said yeah of course, <laughs> of course you are dad all right so let's get these two these 
two screws out here. All right, so this just, this just lifts out. I don't wanna lose those screws. There's a little, see if you can see it. See that little, that little hook right here kind of by my hat. So what that hook does um, right there actually sits inside here like that just to kind of you know for some stability so this tool actually come on now oh helps if i put it in the right spot so that stays like that this tool well you got to put them together first what am i doing this what am i doing here so you put them together first like this okay and then you put it back in there so that original little uh tang or whatever the hell you want to call it stays in place and you put these on here and then you've got this you've got to put on so before you actually put it all together like i'm doing take it all apart you're gonna hook this on here just like that, okay? And then this piece goes here so it stays captured in between those two pieces like that, all right? And then you're gonna install it back just as it is. And you can't really see now because the lights in the truck just shut off. But we'll just angle this a little bit. So, so now these are back to where they need to be and you put your screws back in it, one here, and one here, boom, 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 just like that. So what else, oh my gosh, are y'all okay? Oh crap, I dropped y'all. So what we're going to do is we're just going to slide this through here like that that's it now we're going to get back to tightening these up you guys probably don't want to see that so i'll tighten them up i'll be right back all right folks here we are back obviously torqued down to specifications um whatever hand tight is um so this is what it's gonna look like when it's latched. Of course, it's latched on this piece here. And when you guys unhook the seat, make sure you leave this, don't move this up or down because this should line up where this thing is at so that when you fold it up, it should latch right in the same spot. So, I mean, we're keeping our fingers crossed. Hopefully that's what'll happen. But anyways, so we'll say, so it's latched and then you've got this right here and you pull it boom undone so let's move all of our goodies here stand our deal back up here and we're unlatched and we'll see fold this all back up and see if that latches in place and it did not so i'm gonna do some adjusting here and i've been told you see these little i don't know if you can see them but they're little little indentions in here um that if you line that up when the seat's down they line up but obviously that's not the case so let me scoot it up some more no nope, because it's got a little ramp here little little ramp so i'm gonna try to scoot that up some and see that's too high let's try scooting it down some that's i don't know what the heck is going on so it's all a bunch of trial and error apparently i uh seem like i have goofed this up but 
we're just gonna keep trying so i'm gonna put you guys back on the camera here so you guys can see us mess with cody can you put that up there just in that little mount i don't know why that camera is so hot anyways Ooh. all right oh man now everybody's sick <laughs> all right so we'll just keep trying let's we'll see if we can Trying to figure this out. See this? We need to be up here somewhere when this. latched there we are so the seats down it's all in place I'm gonna reach up here it's got this little pull string pull it and it opens man look how low it is so now that it's like that we should be able to huh. I don't know why this isn't there it is I guess you just really gotta push it in place I was really thinking that you know it kind of pushed in real nice and soft but i guess you've got some stuff on the back um that you've got to that's got to be compressed against some of this foam that's in the back of the seat um so you really kind of gotta you know put it in there pretty tight and that seems nice and flush over there right well i guess nothing changed there all right well guys um i hadn't said it but uh, like and subscribe to the channel uh, we certainly appreciate you guys watching. Uh, we do really enjoy doing this kind of stuff, or at least I do. I don't know if my kids do. I think they are, uh, they're more embarrassed by dad, but um, if they're embarrassed by dad, you know what that means? You know what that means? What? I'm doing my job, so you're welcome. And he's shaking his head yes, because he knows. But anyways, guys, um, not a sponsored video. Um, bought this with my own pennies. Um, actually not my pennies. I, I used, uh, I used his college savings, um, fund to buy it, but this is from built ride industries. I actually got it off of Amazon. Um, I'm thinking it was in the $25 range. Um, but this is the rear seat, um, release kit. Um, been kind of wanting to do it for a little while. Um, and then I forgot there was the subwoofer that was back here. Um, because my truck actually came with that option. Um, with the upgraded stereo so uh, unfortunately for me um, if you have that upgraded stereo system it's it, it's useless um, I mean you can you can open it up and look at it hey that's kind of cool look I got a speaker and an amplifier back there but other than that for for you guys who don't have um, the upgraded system um, there is a lot of space uh, back there for y'all let me um you, will you take them off of there? Yeah, just pull off. All right, so, um, yeah, it's really hot, isn't it? Yeah. So as I was saying, for you guys who have the sub uh, and the stereo stuff, this is what it looks like behind your seat. So you've got your amplifier and your sub. Um, obviously there would be a lot more room here if all this stuff wasn't there. So again, you guys that do not have the upgraded sound system, um, you've got a lot of room back here that you can put toe straps or chains or whatever you want to put back here. Um, that really cool AR mount, um, that I've seen online, uh, people putting them behind the seats. This would be a really cool place to do it. However, um, if you have the upgraded stereo system, it's kind of a useless upgrade for you guys because i mean you can't really i mean there's there's a little bit of room back here but there's not really much to do anything i guess you could keep a um a pack of gum um yeah probably about it so there's not really there's not really much to to hold back there and if, and of course now i can't get it to latch after after i got it to latch so anyways guys like i said before please like and subscribe really appreciate you guys watching and hanging out with us 
and uh, I've got uh, I got it I think so. yeah. nice um, so I've got that latched so um, we got another video that I have filmed that I haven't posted it's about um, some really cool uh, knives that I got a knife set from uh, Dow strong they're pretty awesome um, so be looking for that video for it to be posted I'm hoping that I can get it done before I put this one on uh, and if so I'll put a link in there if you guys are interested in that or I'll put it up in one of these corners uh, for you guys to check out um, other than that if you guys are curious if you guys want to see anything that hasn't been done yet or if you guys would like to see something for me to do uh, on either Earl or Snowflake um, let me know or if you guys have any other questions about anything else mower questions or powder coating questions anything like that obviously I'm not an expert on some of that stuff but um, you know I have been around the block for a little while trying to learn how to put this stuff together so um, anyways guys again appreciate you watching we'll see y'all next time